page 177, number 11. We have G of T, 1 over sine t plus cosine t. All right, so you have two choices right now. You can either write this, uh, do the, I mean, sorry, do the quotient rule, or you can write it as, um, like rewrite it using negative exponent. I'm not really sure what most of you did. Um, I'm not even sure what's the best oh, thing to do here. Uh, well, I'll just do it both ways, all right? So let's start quotient rule. Quotient rule, derivative of the top. The derivative of one is zero. The I mean, times the bottom, sine t plus cosine t. Oh, I'm going to have to erase this. Okay, Ta uh, minus derivative of the bottom. So I have the derivative of sine, which is cosine, and the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine, times the top. Now, there is no... Um, it's just t for your angle. It's not like 3t or t squared. So the derivative of the angle would be 1. So I don't have that issue here going on. Um, and they're just straight up derivatives. There's no inside to anything. So that's the derivative of the bottom times the top over, I hate t, the bottom squared. So I don't know why I drew that line in the first place. That was silly. Uh, the derivative of the top. So, 0 times this thing, that just gives you 0. So, all I have to do now is distribute that negative there. So, I get negative cosine of t plus sine of t. I'm going to rewrite that as sine minus cosine over that thing squared. I don't know what they have in the book, but I can't imagine that they would really have anything different. Now, that's if you're using quotient rule, that's what you get. If you ended up rewriting it in the beginning as sine of t plus cosine of t to the negative 1 power, then you're doing chain rule. So, chain rule, take the exponent and bring it forward. So I have negative sine of t plus cosine of t. Subtract 1 from your exponent, so that gives me negative 2, uh, times the derivative of what's inside. Derivative of sine is cosine. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. Okay, and it looks like, so this thing, so it, it's the same, right? So we get negative cosine t minus sine t. Okay, you can't read that, but you know what it is. And then you have the sine t plus cosine t squared. Because the exponent is negative 2, you put it on the bottom. And then when you distribute that, you get the same thing, the same thing we have right there. Uh, you distribute it and then reverse the order. Okay, so that's the answer to number 11.